In this video, we are going to have a look on the MVC architecture which is actually implemented in AngularJS. As in the introduction, we see that MVC architecture is there in the implementation of AngularJS. We will cover this topic in this video. Whenever you create an application, there must be some architectural pattern implemented on that. It will give your application a better structure. So we'll start seeing the architectural pattern and after that we'll cover the architectural pattern we are using in AngularJS that is the model view controller. So let's first have a look what this architectural pattern is all about. It is a reusable solution. That simply means whenever you start writing some code or some view or anything in your project, we want that I can reuse that as much as we can. Means the reusable solution. Once write and you can use it multiple times. So using the architectural pattern, any architectural pattern will provide you this facility. It is somewhat similar to the software design pattern, but a bit more than that. As the software design patterns just focus on the software implementation thing, but in architectural pattern, yes, we do focus on the uh, software design patterns. But apart from that, we also see about the hardware performance, about the availability as high as we can make, and the tolerance of business risks. So these all things will also be there whenever you would be working on some architectural pattern. In architectural pattern, we will actually create some smaller modules and we will uh, merge them together to form a proper structure of an application. And you can find some of the very common architectural pattern nowadays like event driven architecture, MVVM, MVP, MVC. In this video, we are just going to have a look with the MVC, that is model view controller, but event driven architecture is again a very famous architectural pattern along with MVVM, model view, view model, MVP, model view presenter and many more like that. Okay, so just quickly have a look with MVC architecture. MVC architecture is basically implemented whenever you want to form a UI based application. That simply means that in MVC we are not going to focus on the database activities that we'll do in, we'll do in some other ways but here we'll focus how to design your UI and how to get the data into my user interface. So this is all about your MVC which we will do here will not focus on the database activities at all. When you start working with MVC, you will divide the complete application into three major interconnected parts that is model, view and controller. Model is basically anything which is helping us to carry the data or any logic or any rules of application. For example, I have two views and I want to transfer some data to the other or maybe some controller or some other source to my view. So in that situation, we can go for the model which can bring the data to our UI. Next is view. View is simply the user interface means whatever a user can see is a view. That can be an HTML page, a graph or any representational data. And finally, the controller. As the name says controller, it controls the overall application. Means it is the one who decides that what model is to be used, when to redirect which view. Everything is actually controlled by this controller. And controller does that as per the request. Like it is the one who takes the input and then converts the command to give the appropriate output. So this is about, about this in, quick introduction about MVC but the question is what are the benefits of working with MVC. So here as you can see there is a pictorial representation. The execution will, started, will be started by the user. 
as soon as it will make the request that request would be handled by the controller as you see here that it is the one who accepts the input so the request is accepted by the controller as per the request it gathers the data and manipulates the model means whatever data it gathers as per the request it will pop, pull it all in, into the model so that you can later update a particular view as view is going to see the same data which is being returned by the model model will update the view and view a user can see it right so this is how your application goes on now let's find out some more features inside it as you can check that here we design a model and this model is independent of any logic like which data is to gather is taken by controller what is the data it's taken by model means view is simply independent of all these logical stuffs so it will give you an idea like when you design a view it will not be carrying any data inside it as usually when we create a sample applications we bind a number of logical implementations with the view itself but here we are simply not going to do that right so again let's find some more benefits of it like first of all it's the reusability as MVC is also an architectural pattern and the first point of architectural pattern was it provides the reusable solution. So it also gives you the reusability like for example view is independent of any other model so or any other controller so you can bind the same view with multiple models or controllers situationally. Decoupled code decoupled code simply means that when you start writing the program it will be less dependency means if you start creating smaller modules it will be isolated in itself or maybe less dependency would be there so it would be easy to ch change one of the module without getting affected the other modules parallel development in just the previous slide we saw that view is independent of any logical implementation like model and controller so at the same time a developer and a designer can start working where a designer would be designing a layout of a page and developer would be focusing on the other logical stuffs both don't need to get dependent on each other and they can perform a parallel development it will also increase your development time sorry development speed now multiple view support again I have to repeat that view is independent of any model suppose you created a model and you want to represent it in different ways sometime in a tableau format sometime in the list format or maybe in thumbnail format maybe something like that so you can bind the same model with different views to create the different appearances of your web page of that data in the different web pages so this is about the some of the key features of key benefits of MVC that is all for this video here we covered about a MVC design pattern and we also saw the benefits of working with MVC thank you